What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Eric. I'm just talking, child. We are down here, honey, to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I was just talking to myself, and I was thinking about how, you know, the things that we think about as women, like safety to keep ourselves safe, um, how we, like, that's because when I was on my way here, I was sitting in the car, and... Um, after I got in the car, I was sitting for a second and then I remember like, let me lock my doors because I'm like looking down. You know what I'm saying? Is somebody in my parking space? They are in a white van too. Haters. You are a hater if I ever met you with your GE van. Okay. He doesn't know. He's new here. So I'm going to Give him some slack. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you stopped by. I figure I'll wear a Horror Story t-shirt. I know it's not Michael Myers. And it's Jason Voorhees. But um, since Jamie Lee Curtis was on there, we give a, a shout out to horror movies. Um, since her and Kyle were in um, the first Halloween together. It's just so cute to see little Kyle. Little Kyle. And it's so crazy how you've watched that movie however many times. And then now as a grown person, you're watching, you're watching this, this, that little girl on a reality television show with her family and stuff. Crazy, huh? This episode was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of like stories and stories. Girl, Erica Jane is a mess. Did you see what she said to Crystal at the end? I was like, girl, what did you just say? Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> Garcelle looking like, see, I told y'all that bitch is drinking with the meds. And what are you talking about? Why are you asking Crystal these questions in this environment? Girl, this is not the time nor the place. I felt like Garcelle handled that situation with Crystal really well. She stopped Crystal as soon as Crystal was trying to get, you know, feeling about to like, not accept the compliment, right? You look thin, right? That's a compliment for some folks. And, um, and then she was like, take the compliment. She was like, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And then she says, you know, she kind of acknowledged, you know, how she's feeling. Garcelle did really well. She acknowledged how she was feeling like, you know, it's the holidays, a lot of food around and this and that. She says, but you look beautiful again, reaffirming her. And then here comes Erica with these weird ass, I may be ignorant. Yeah, you already know you're ignorant. That's why you're prefacing it with, I may be ignorant. No, bitch, you know you're ignorant. Why are you asking these questions? Why are you recommending laxatives to somebody with a fucking eating disorder, bitch? What? It is not 1983, Erica Jane. What is wrong with you? Like, I was like, girl, and then even Crystal's like, um, I don't know if she's trying to be helpful. No, she's not trying to be. Yeah, she's trying to be helpful, but she's not being helpful. But she's telling you what she does when she needs to do. Uh, I would recommend a laxative. Girl, I know everybody wants to look in all their cameras. Like, bitch, did you just hear what she just said? Uh Uh-uh, ma'am. No, ma'am. Anyways, let's start at the beginning. Lisa Renna calls Dorit and she has something under her chin taken doing laser. (laughs) Dorit was like, girl, you don't have to answer the phone. I don't know what, (laughs) I don't know what you were doing. Did I tell y'all to like, subscribe and comment? Let me know you stopped by. Okay, good. (sighs) Girl, that was funny to me. Um, She said she's on her way to Kyle's and Lisa said, okay, let me know all the gossip. And she's like, okay, girl. So they get to Kyle's house and Jamie Lee Curtis is there. Um, You know, they talk about how long they've known each other. And she has this foundation with the Children's Hospital, My Hand and Yours. I guess Jamie Lee Curtis and Kyle. So they were, you know, you know, um, showing the little Chosky's that they have for the for the um, for the charity. All right, so everybody's coming in, everybody's giving hugs, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is giving, you know, hugs, and Diana hugs, and Cherie hugs, and stuff, 
And then Sutton shows up and Diana is like, I am not in the mood for Sutton, right? Um, they all sit at the table. They're getting ready to, you know, talk. And Jamie Lee Curtis is going to do her little spiel or whatever she's going to do. And um, Dorit is talking over the table to uh, Diana. And she's asking her about lunch with Sutton. And she's telling her how she cannot stand Sutton. What does she say? Bitch. She says, I'm a little repulsed. That's what she said. She says, I'm a little repulsed. And then she said, she offends my space. I said, oh my God. There's some people you just, it's funny because I don't want Erica. I mean, I don't want Sutton and Diana to get along. I don't want them to get along. I'm not like, oh, they need to be friends and they need to work it out. No, let them bitches be adversaries. Let them, let them, let it keep, keep the party going. I don't care. Don't, don't try to be friends. So I'm looking at Sutton like, girl, stop acting like you want to be the peacemaker. <laughs> Sutton is trying to put eyelash glue. I don't know why you would pour it out of, I don't know why you would pour it out of the tube onto the eyelash and not put it on something and put it on the eyelash. When your eyelash is already on your eye and it's lifting or whatever, you don't put the tube of eyelash glue to your eye and because it can have an air bubble in it and that's what seemed to happen (laughs) and so a glob came out on Cherie's eye which could have been really bad if it got into her eye and I think it was kind of it kind of irritated her eye too because later I was looking at her and she it looks kind of like irritated but that was Jamie Lee Curtis ended up fixing it thank you auntie Jamie oh god Diana um I think Kyle like hit Diana and was like, you love this, son. She was like, yes, I do. Cause Sutton was looking crazy. She was like, Sutton, don't do nothing. Just leave me alone, Sutton. Leave me alone. That was, that was a cute little scene or whatever. Then that's when Diana said that Sutton offends her space. She offends her space. That was so funny to me. I was like, this bitch is a mess. So then Jamie Lee Curtis is showing off all of the merch that they have. And she shows this tumbler. And Dorit leans in and she goes, is it hot? It does. It's hot and cold. Amazing. Amazing. Girl, what? You saying that about a fucking thermos mug? Amazing. I knew as soon as that bitch said amazing, I knew Dorit was on some shit. I knew it. So, (laughs) so then she shows, uh, what she show? Um, a wind chime. It was a black wind chime. That's so chic. She shows something else. Oh gosh. That is so chic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girl, she is showing regular shit that you get out of the motherfucking airport gift shop. Okay? A fucking wind chime, a tumbler. I think she showed a candle, a fucking, what is it called? Paperweight. I don't know. (laughs) Girl. Everything was chic. I, I was like, I know that Dorit was pissed that she was not at Diana's Christmas party. I know she was. I know she was. She they got COVID. Well, she didn't get it. PK got it. And then Sutton ended up getting. That's what one of the like the little threads in there was because Garcelle, Dorit, no Garcelle, Lisa, and somebody else, Erica. They all got Caronia. And so they've been missing. So they've been trying to call each other. Is it, do they have to be physically there to get paid in the episode? Cause they were there, baby. I said, yeah, we got, I gotta be in the episode, girl. I need to be in the episode. Every episode, (laughs) we gonna figure out a way ever since, ever since we heard that they get paid per episode. That's the joke. We gotta be every episode, girl. I don't care. Anyways. So they're sitting down. They asked Diana about um lunch with Sutton no they asked Sutton is um Doree Sutton and Cherie in the little salon and they're you know talking or whatever and she asked um about the lunch with Diana and she says you know um she's very angry at me she says well you were talking about um, someone in, in a, in a way at their lowest moment. And she was like, well, I wasn't talking about her at her lowest moment. I mean, she, so, I mean, she said something about me in my lowest moment, (laughs) right? So then she goes, 
Dorit goes, well, you questioned, you know, whether or not the doctor had her on bed rest. And then they showed the clip of her asking. She's like, you're going to have to explain that. <laughs> that motherfucking Sutton is a mess. And then she acting like she don't know what you're talking about. That's why I say Sutton needs to stop acting like she wants to be cool with Diana because, girl, we know you don't fucking put fucking with Diana. You don't fuck with Diana. We know that. Well, maybe if you tried a different approach, then you would have maybe had a different response. Well, she hurt me terribly. This is sudden. Girl, she hurt you terribly. <laughs> and then they showed a clip of Diana telling Sutton that you cut me deep. You know, they're so dramatic. You cut me deep. So then Dorit says that if you can't see your own mistakes, you, you can't improve. And that's true. I mean, that's true across the board for everybody. If you can't see what you've done wrong in a situation or are willing to admit that you've done something wrong, if you can't acknowledge that you've done something wrong, hang it up. It's nothing. There's nothing. There is nothing to talk about. It's a dead end, literally. And that goes for everything. If the person cannot see it, and they are unwilling to see it. They're not going to learn from the mistake. They're going to keep repeating the mistake. You don't have to stick around for that. Anyways, so they started talking um, with Crystal. And it was Crystal, Kyle, and Diana. They're at the bar, right? Um, somebody left. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis left. So they're at the bar. And Crystal is talking about... Oh, they talked about a post that Crystal put on IG. Crystal said that she was um, about to post a picture on IG, but then she didn't feel good about the way that she looked about herself. And so she posted another picture that explained how she was feeling and it talked about her eating disorder. Um, Kyle asked her, is it for appearance? Is it about control? Is it about... Um, it was something else she asked her appearance control and something else. And she was like, do you throw up? And like, she's asking these questions. And then she was like, dang, you know, you're like really asking. So I don't understand why she didn't do that to Erica. But anyway, so she goes like, damn, oh, you're really asking hard questions. And she goes, no, because I know. And then Kyle shares her story. And we all know about Kyle having an eating disorder. A lot of these women, a lot of women have eating disorders in some form of or another the relationship with food and body image for a lot of girls to women. And it, it like, we were just talking about Tammy Roman a few months ago. And when she's on the red carpet looking so skinny and people are like saying that, oh my God, something must be wrong with her. She loves it. She thinks that she looks incredible. And to us, she doesn't. She says she's had an eating disorder. A lot of women do. A lot of men do. It's just like people have body image issues and society doesn't help at all. It doesn't help. It actually banks for me. I, I, I have an understanding that it banks on women always feeling sh like, like short, like I, I can do something else. Something else needs to be fixed. Um, always you feel like you come up short. You're never going to measure up it to look a certain way. And, and what's really bad about it is when you use when you allow men to determine your beauty standards and they the way that they switch up all the time and people are going to have like permanent semi permanent procedures done in order to be attractive and desirable because their body images if you li if you look um if you do you look at the studies little girls their body image issues have gotten worse because of social media they're, they're looking at what the boys are liking. What the boys are liking are already distorted images. Everybody now, in with the addition of social media, everybody now has a really fucked up, distorted view of what the body looks like. They really do. And then thinking that everybody needs to look the same, completely suspending the idea that we are all different and all have different body shapes, but everybody is trying to attain a particular body type to be desirable to a certain type of person. And to even like your, even your self image, people looking in the mirror and like, I, this is, I can't do this. This has to be done. It's not quite right. 
the world banks on that. The beauty industry isn't where it is because people, it's like enhancements in addition to people not feeling great about themselves, period. And so I think every, like, that's why Erica's questions to her and suggestions to her are outlandish because everybody knows you do not, you do not suggest laxatives to someone with an eating disorder. You just don't. And like these women are, luckily, like Kyle said, they are talking about it more on a public platform. Back then, you wouldn't even tell your friends. It would be just something you would deal with yourself trying to watch what you eat, watching your mom. Like, that's another thing. Like, um, I wrote Jackie on, on New Jersey, watching the children, watching her and noticing that she's measuring everything. That started when she was a kid and she has, has had children and is still dealing. It is literally a mental illness and it is like embedded in us. And some people just go take it to the next level. Some people have mild eating disorders and then there's severe eating disorders. Like it we already know what it is. That's why everybody's looking like, girl, did you did you just tell someone to take a laxative? Oh my God, girl. A, a mess. Crystal's crying in her interview talking about how she was tall. She was different. She was a minority. I hate when y'all call yourselves that. I hate that. I hate when you call yourself a minority. It's just, I know that it means that you're the populace of who, the, where you are and whatever, but it the word means minor. Like, it's like, no, it's like, the, the, and that's another thing. Like the things that we call ourselves, it's just a whole bunch of shit. Anyways, 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 anyways. She says she wants to be okay with eating. She's so tired of feeling the way she does about her her body. They hug her. They console her. They support her in that moment. They go off to the other side. All the ladies, they join, rejoin each other. And they're all sitting there and they're like, it's awkward. Um, that's what Diana says. It's awkward. So um, Sutton says, I don't think Diana is ready. And she's like, no, I'm not. She's right. Um, and then Sutton says, I'm done apologizing, though. And then Diana goes on to explain how she had just had a miscarriage and how she um, was drinking and that caused her blood to thin. And then she started bleeding more. And the women were like, oh, we didn't know it was recent, like recent, 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 recent. And they were like, I thought it was a few months ago. Um, And so... Oh, then Sutton says, I'm to blame for the rocky start. So she took accountability. Um, and so she's like, and you know, I, I'll, I'll take the blame for that. So then she says, okay, well, we're on timeout. So they, she said on both of us. So they said, we'll call a ceasefire for now. Lisa and Erica, I don't know what they were talking about. What were they talking about? Oh, Tom, visiting Tom, because um, Lisa was on the FaceTime. And they talked about Don, um, Diana having a party. Um, she said that, um, Harry had the LA magazine cover, um, with Tom and Erica on it. And Erica was kind of annoyed that the article was basically saying that she was an ambitious wife. I don't know if you guys have read the article or not. I'm not that interested. Um, but she felt like, why was it, why being called an ambitious wife is something, is something bad. So. Does she talk to Tom sometimes? Yes. Sometimes he's there. Sometimes he's not. Um, She says, I know where he is. It's only going to get worse. She says she can't get a divorce because if she get a divorce, she would have to pay his ass alimony. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? So she says she's going to stay married. Thanks. I said, I know that's right. Stay married to his old ass. Anyway, so Kathy Hilton. So we're at Kathy Hilton's house. Kathy is, um, has all her Christmas decorations up, Christmas trees everywhere. She was in Architectural Digest. And so she has her Christmas tree and this is vintage fabric and all of this stuff. Um, and she sits down outside with Kyle and they're eating baked potatoes 
with sour cream and caviar. Now, I feel like I feel like Kathy does things like she's a practical joker. You know what I mean? I think she does things because she knows the camera is watching. She says things. I I don't think you should take anything she says seriously. When Okay, so the Pasadena thing is hilarious as hell. Because you say, I'm going to Pasadena. But I'm going to pass on your event. And I'm, and I'm going to say that. And then Garcelle mentions it in the episode. And then Kyle explains it to her. Then she says, um, to, she tells um, Garcelle, I was going to wear something just like that. We would have been twins. It's ne- never take her seriously. I think it's always a joke. Like it's always a little joke in what she's saying. So I want to look up baked potatoes with caviar. Because for some reason, I felt like that was a joke, but it's not. Clearly, there is a with creme fraiche. Yes. Okay. So, um, caviar on top of a baked potato. Okay. That is real. Because she's such a weirdo to me, the way she be acting. I feel like she was doing that on purpose. Like, that's not like a real thing. She's like, I want to do it the way they do it in France or whatever, the way they make it in France. Okay. So I guess that is a thing. Baked potatoes with caviar. It's right here. With a bunch of caviar on top. That caviar, caviar is so good. So salty. But then that's why I was like, why is she pouring salt on top? But like, she does like weird things and I think she does it's a, it's very intentional very intentional she says she needs help around the house she's overwhelmed she can't get gifts to people um and then like I feel like Kyle is like she knows that her sister jokes all the time so she doesn't know what she was like okay is this the entree or is this the appetizer and then she was like it's the entree my dear she was like I don't know because we're just eating caviar with on top of a baked potato. Like I would think it was a joke too. Like, girl, are you joking right now? So I get that whole thing. But that's why I said you gotta watch Kathy Hilton. She said somebody peed on her sofa, girl. Shut up. A mess. At Diana's Christmas party, she said she doesn't know, you know, since it's you know a panorama, she doesn't know if a lot of people are gonna be able to show up. So she wants to make it more cozy or whatever. But she wants to make sure she fills the space. The drinks the little ornaments filled with the liquor inside of a martini glass with the little pine sprig on the top. That was the cutest thing ever. I have never seen, I thought it was the cutest thing. So it's a martini glass. The only thing that was missing in the martini glass, I felt should have been like confetti or something, like something sparkly. That was the only thing missing. So it was a martini glass with an ornament, a bulb ornament. The ornament has the liquor inside of it. On top of the ornament, it's like, you know, the little silver thing with the little pine sprig and coming out of it. And then there's a little place where you stick your straw to drink the liquor and it's just sitting in a martini glass. It's so cute. So cute. I was like, that is adorable. Hello. Oh, girl. I'll be having, I have PTSD every time. I, every time I look down at it, I don't, I, I want to, I really want to trust that it's on, but I can't take, I've been, I've been burned too many times. I'm not going to let it do me again. So when I look at it and I think about it, I'm like, okay, I try not to pick it up. I, I'm trying, I'm trying. I have to trust it. I have to trust myself that I turned it on. Anyway, so Lisa. Lisa Renna, um, her, her blazer was cute. Crystal looks so cute. I said, come on, Crystal. Um, Diana, it was a lot. She was like, do I look like the Pope? A little bit, a little bit. Um, Garcelle looked cute. I love Garcelle. She called herself a, um, a tinsel tree. She was like, you look like a Christmas tree. She's like, yeah, tinsel tree. It was cute. It was very cute. When she came in, when Garcelle came in, I was happy to see her. I was like, oh, look at Garcelle. Erica was like, she is so beautiful. She is. You can't even front. You got to be like, oh my God, she looks so pretty. And then, yeah, Crystal and her green dress. Erica looked okay. Um, 
who else? Kyle looked okay. To me, it was like Garcelle, Crystal. That's who looked the cutest to me. The crystal looked so cute in that green. It was really, really, really cute. Lisa. Oh, Lisa in the in the goddamn confessional sucking fucking uh, Diana's dick. Talking about she spent a lot of money on this party. Cash. Yes. Cash. Girl, shut up. Shut up. I was like, Lisa, Rena, stop sucking dick, girl. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Stand up. What's the girl say? So then Erica asked um, Diana's son and Ava, y'all said that that's Damon Dash's daughter. I don't know his kids like that. Is that Rachel Roy's child? Anywho, Rachel Roy. Remember that era? Girl, a mess. Remember that? Remember it? Girl, that's what the, the elevator scene was about. Remember that? Was that Rachel? Five minutes later. So why I just put that together, that that elevator incident was about Rachel Roy and Rachel Roy used to be with Dame Dash. And then I keep seeing those images of Dame Dash with Aaliyah and then Jay-Z with Aaliyah. Mm -mm. Anyways. Erica asked Ennis if he, if they were married. He was like, I'm 22. Girl, once again, this is not 1983. Erica, where are you? We need to make sure we need, wherever Tom is, that's where you need to be. So we could check your ass out. Girl, that boy is 22 years old. That girl is probably what, 21? Ain't nobody married, getting married. You a fool if you do. Hello? You're a fool if you get married at 21 and 22. If anybody is trying to convince you to get married before you turn 25, do, don't do it. If anybody's trying to get you to get married before you turn 30, don't do it. No, but for real, 25, no. Your brain, let your brain finish d connecting. Let everything, let the little hole right here, your little, your little soft spot, let your soft spot close up <laughs> before you try to get married, okay? <laughs> Girl, I thought it was cute that they were trying to get Crystal to um lift her lift her arms up to see how short her skirt was. That's what you have to do to see if your skirt was too short. You actually had to put you would actually have to put your hands on the side, stand up straight, put your hands, and if your fingers, if your skirt, your skirt couldn't be passed above your your middle finger. So when you stand, that's how it is in Catholic school. For those who went to Catholic school or had uniforms, they know. So you put your, your skirt, but we'd be rolling our skirts up. <laughs> we would roll our skirts up. Because <laughs> of damn skirts. Who? Girl, what we look like wearing skirts up, uh, uh, below the knee? Girl, get out of here. Can we at least, can it come at least above the knee? So if you're like little, it depends if you're tall. If you're tall, and especially if you're a tall girl, you don't want no long ass skirt going down to your damn knees looking crazy and stuff. That skirt needs to come above the knee, but you couldn't. The sisters will not let you. So you would have to stand like that with the um with the um with your arms to the side. And if your skirt was above your fingers, it was too short. Your skirt had to be right at the fingers. Funny, huh? But I thought that was cute. That's what reminded me of Catholic school. <laughs> So Garcelle came in with her gold, right? Um, I loved when she was like, when they showed the clip of her and Diana from Garcelle's party. And she was like, um, Diana, that's full of shit. You're being mean. And she said, I am. I said, bitch, come on. I said, I want, I want Diana. I want, I don't want that. I hate that Diana is a goddamn bigot who wants to feed all the black people in the world. Girl. <laughs> the white savior herself. I helped you people. You you know what I've done for you people? Girl, I wish she wasn't like that cuz she would be perfect. Like I want her and Sutton. I don't want them to get along. I don't want them to make it up. I don't want them to make up. I want them to always have 
You don't have to get along, you know? And then it's like that. If you're like in a friend group, you know, you could be, you're like, you develop stronger bonds with some friends and some friends you don't. And then some friends you're like, I really don't care for her personality, but we're all cool. We're okay. We could be cool together. We can have fun, but I really don't fuck with her like that. I'm not going to confide in her. I'm not going to call her. If she happens to be where we go. Uh, okay. She's, I'm not going to invite her anywhere or tell her if she want to come. She, it's okay. You know, like that. She don't have to, I mean, but, and then like she said, time out. So they, you know, they're on a timeout. So that's when Garcelle tells Crystal, you look thin. And she was like trying to, Crystal was going to revert back to like talking, you know, negative talk about herself. And then Garcelle stopped her and she says, no, take the compliment. She was like, you look fine. And then she was like, you know, she's like, it's a rough time right now. It's the holidays. There's a lot of food around. And she was like, yeah, I understand. She's like, but you look beautiful. That was it. That was it. I said that I watched it again. I was like, that is where it should have stopped. This motherfucker, Erica is asking, um, do you, is it, you don't want to eat, so you deprive yourself, or do, do you eat and then feel bad? And she says, no, I eat and then I feel bad. And then Erica, she was about to say it. She, she like hesitated. That's how I know she knows, she knows what the fuck she was saying. Bitch, you not that goddamn drunk that you are going to in 2022 in the year of electric cars and flying to Mars. That you are going to tell a woman to get a laxative? Girl, I can't. Uh, Garcelle said, wow. I know everybody wanted to look in the camera. I know they was like. I know the producer was like, did y'all get that? <laughs> I know they was happy as hell. Did y'all get that? <laughs> Girl, listen to me. Why would you tell, you know, I think it, it would be a better way to get rid of it. And then it was like, it was inappropriate. And then she goes, oh, so Garcelle, she goes over to talk to Cherie. You know, they hug each other. It was so cute. That, that little energy exchange was so cute because she's like, I had never had the, you know, the Caronia or whatever. And she was like, yes, cause you're so beautiful. And then she was like, I, like, like they couldn't help but to hug each other. Like that, that was the whole thing they were trying. They wanted to hug each other. So they're sitting down. You could hear them talking while Erica is still asking Crystal these weird ass questions. And she was like, you know, so do when you purge, do you feel better? And then after you feel guilty and it's almost as though she under, she understands and I'm going to tell you what I do. And I don't know if, because when Erica was about to say, you know, well, you would rather take a, she was like, I'm going to say, and then like she, she hesitated. And I'm like, you knew that you shouldn't have said that. Why would you even suggest that? But then after she was like, kind of like asking her the questions and kind of leading, like, you, like she was answering for her. Crystal was not ta- speaking for herself. She was like, oh, and so you feel guilty, right? And then you, you know, and then she, and then you would rather, th- what I'm saying is you would rather just, you know, let it out the other way than rather than throw it up. And then that's when Crystal was like, oh yeah, the la-, and she was like, yeah. And she was like, girl. She, and then that's when Crystal was like, I don't know if she was trying to help. Yeah, she was trying to help you stop throwing up. I don't know if Crystal throws up. I don't know if it's bulimia or what's going on. Um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I was just like, girl, I couldn't believe it. And then she was like, and then you feel guilty, right? And I was like, yeah, Erica, she's saying all of the things because that's what she does. That's exa- when I, I kept, I listened to it three times and I was like, that's what she does. That's why she was talking for Crystal. That's why she was answering. She she asked her the question and answered it. So I don't know if she was trying to relate to Crystal. I'm trying to help her. Like, girl, you don't have to throw it up. Shit it out. That's better and better on your teeth. You won't fuck your teeth up. That's why I felt like she was going to like, girl, just start giving her the fucking, you know, eating disorder 101, how to have an eating disorder. I couldn't believe it. And then wait, and then, so the guy comes over with some chicken tenders on a plate, right? And he was like, okay, you could have, um, these are chicken tenders. And then she tells Crystal, you can't have a chicken tender. And Lisa turned around like, girl, what? And then she goes, all right, I need another drink. And that's how it ended. 
I was like, Erica's a mess. That was crazy. Y'all, Erica was really asking Crystal those questions. And I'm like, Crystal, and then I'm like, why didn't you say, okay, Erica, all right, like, okay, let's talk about something else because I'm uncomfortable. Like, girl, I'm not, girl, this is too much. And we're supposed to be having a good time. This is supposed to be festive. First of all, why are you suggesting laxative? Number, why are you asking these questions? I really felt like Erica was like talking about what she does when she needs to do, when she needs to make sure that the food that she just, that Taco Bell that she scarfed down her mouth, that she gets it out without having to throw up. But my whole thing is it's going to come out anyway, girl. Anyways, I don't know, but I don't know why you would tell her that that was crazy to me. And then you show Garcelle looking like I'm trying to tell y'all. But see, it's it's just it's the it's the old adage. You don't know how it feels until it happens to you. Now she done insulted Garcelle. She done insulted. Now she done made uh, Crystal feel embarrassed. Like Crystal turned around like, bitch, no, you didn't. Like, I mean, like and where everybody is aware the girl has an eating disorder. We're all aware of that. And you say making like we're not. Are you making jokes about food? OK. I, I, I know I, I know I'm going to sound ignorant. Yeah. So be quiet. If you know you're going to sound ignorant, just hush. Just be quiet. Maybe it's best not to say it or maybe it's best maybe to ask it later or I, I don't know. But I holler when she says, all right, I need another drink. Uh, that is just like the epitome of Erica's storyline. You just a drunk ass, a drunk asshole this whole season trying to drown your fucking sorrows, girl. Anyways, y'all, that was the end of the episode. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Yeah, so caviar and baked potatoes are a thing. <laughs> I was like, is she fucking playing? Because in the way she was talking to Garcelle and just talking to everybody, it's like a joke all the time. It's like the joke's on you. I'm just, I'm talking to you and I don't even, we're not talking about anything. It's like really weird ass small talk that she, that, that Kathy, Kathy Hilton has. I'm trying to see what is the problem with Kathy and um, Kyle, what's going to happen and why that Lisa is telling um, Kathy, like you hurt your sister or something like that. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the episode. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. Oops.